I did a thing. What's the thing? Well, we briefly, briefly talked about it, but I held back some of my juicy stuff for this. Um, Me and James saw a silent movie. So cool. So cool. It was um, an Alfred Hitchcock movie called The Lodger. Wait, I want to look it up. And it was from 1927. The, the Lodger, A Story of the London Fog. I believe this was his, one of his debuts. God. And it is. It's it was not at, rated. Oh, that's how old it is. Wow. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> so they had, they pitched this like, there's like the silent movie association that goes around to all these theaters and a local theater to us that we can walk to plays it. And then I think I told you that somebody was playing like the piano slash it was more like an organ, right? Yeah. So like old timey. Live, which was so freaking cool. That is okay. cool. I went into it being like, I had low expectations. Because you're like, 1927, silent movie. It's probably like not great. It was amazing. Was it scary? It looks like a murder mystery. Um, not exactly scary. Okay. And in the moment, I literally hit James and I was like, did you take me to a scary movie? Because <laughs> I'm going to lose it. But they had all these like horror posters up. And apparently, I think this upcoming weekend, they're doing like 14 straight hours of horror films. Yeah, One of those where you like back to back movies. That's so awesome. they're promoting it. But I walked in and I was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> So let me give you my takeaways. 1927. I'm going to get it out of the way, Kate. No one had eyebrows, okay? Had to get uh, it out of the way. Yeah. I see a <laughs> lot of stage. On. I see some Carrie Elway's saw makeup happening so on the men. So <laughs> much makeup on the men. Okay. And honestly, like, eyeshadow, smoky eye, wow. lipstick. Incredible. Incredible. Damn. Flawless. This is, like, I said this so uh, blunt that I, I feel like I have to, like, take back my words last time. But my first thought was, wow, there's a lot of ugly people. And then I thought about it more, and I'm like, like, oh no, like, it's just that everyone doesn't look like plastic surgery perfect or like just different, symmetrical, yeah. like society's expectations of beauty. Mm-hmm. And it was refreshing. Like people were just people in it. Even the stars weren't stunning. You know, it wasn't like Brad Pitt shows up. Because yeah. now, even when you look at the extras in movies, like everyone is like stunning. Yeah, I feel like movies. I think about that for some older movies. And I notice people's like teeth where like yes. in the 80s and 90s, like nobody cared if your teeth were white yes there were movie stars with like yellow teeth they're like crooked teeth and like yep. it didn't matter yep and i'm like man i miss those days <laughs> Yeah, and um, you know how like the screen pops up and it's like, oh no, he's getting away, like that. Oh kind of yeah, thing? you thought it would be annoying, but they did it so well because it was a lot of tech. Like it was, oh sorry, it was a lot of show. Mm. And then the only time something would pop up, I actually like wanted to know what was going to be said. Wow, but uh, just really, really, really fun and funky. And the beginning was some guy being like. We must keep silent films alive. Sorry. They're dying. They're dying. And I was Is like, that ah. me in a hundred years? <laughs> yes. Damn it. You're going to be at random movie theaters being like, nostalgic movie. I would be like, the, pi- like a pi- the pigeon lady. And they're like, not this lady. Get, get her out of here. <laughs> oh, my God. Sisters. Sisters who seen it. We are the sisters, sisters who seen it. Sisters, shooby dooby doo what? Sisters, shooby dooby doo what? Sisters, 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 sisters. Sisters who seen it. Hello. Hello there. Welcome back, listeners. Welcome back. How you guys doing? Are your teachers aliens do we think this was real <laughs> <laughs> is this a documentary is this a true story <laughs> they do talk we? about that theory in the movie who are, oh, what are we talking Bridge. about yes all right listeners i'm gonna introduce ourselves in case you're new here so we are the sisters who seen it the podcast where two sisters who are not movie critics look back on some of our favorites throughout the years through a psychological, ethical, and familial lens. 
I'm Katie. I'm Bridget. Oh, uh, uh, quotes, 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 quotes. I don't have any quotes written. Oh, no. I just want to start singing the X-Files theme song. (laughs) Oh, um, I have no quotes. There's just none. You're occupying my air, anal probe. All right. Was that said by Delilah? Because (laughs) I I have opinions about that one. (laughs) Jesus. You know, you're a pretty cool human being when you're not being a first class grade A bitch. That's probably about Delilah, I'm sure. Uh, Bridge, what's our movie this week? It's the 1998 starring everyone you've ever known. (laughs) For real. The faculty. Oh my god. So many, like... Let's, to the let's point get, where I, can't I was believe like, it. you're fucking in this too? Jesus, I need a bingo card. Oh, All right, you ready? You ready? I'm going to fly by. We have Josh Hartnett. We have Elijah Wood. We have um, Clea Duvall, which maybe that name is not, but if you see the face, you'll know who that is. Jordana Brewster, who does all the Fast and Furious. Um, oh. Usher. Sean Hatsy, which again, if you saw his face, you know. Selma Hayek. Mm. Okay. We have Robert Patrick. We have John Stewart. What Are a character. Danny Masterson, did you die? Oh, uh, Christopher yeah. McDonald. Are you kidding? Um, I just feel like it keeps going, keeps going. I just, where are they? Where are all the people? Piper Laurie is the one teacher, and she was Carrie's mom, all you horror fans. Yes. And OG Carrie. John Abrahams, which was a screen dude. Yeah. He was a character in screen. That guy. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> And the rest of them. And all of them. I swear, if you see their, if you watch get, this movie and see their is, faces, yeah. I don't think, I, I guess I hyped it up too much, but when you see their faces, you're kind of blown away. I feel like that's more of what it is. When you see all the people, you're like, oh shit, that person, this person. And the aunt from Jumanji is the principal. Yes. And Woof. Fan K. Jansen, who was an X-Men. Oh my god. Well, Bridge, guess what? No. It's your <laughs> turn to do this synopsis because I deserve ninjas yeah yeah all you okay now got this I had to watch this on YouTube oh really where did you watch this I think I rented it from Amazon what or no wait that's not true it was on some like free streaming something because I could search a movie in my TV and it'll be like I don't fucking know where that is but you can watch it on this weird channel and I was like okay (laughs) Let's do it. Well, I'm gonna, I just I googled this one sentence, but I did watch this, I think, on YouTube. High school students race for their lives from faculty members who have been taken over by aliens in this thriller. That's a better description than the stupid ass IMDB sentence, which I will read it right now to refresh our brains. When Casey Connor, Harrington High School's newspaper photographer, witnesses the murder of a nurse and sees her alive again, he decides to investigate the bizarre house happenings i believe that's about oh. five minutes of the movie oh my god um, what a terrible that's and, like an ai written plot it, I mean, <laughs> that's what it feels like was this wow. written by the faculty <laughs> Did they write oh god this? oh no ah. Ah. well listen as we already <laughs> discussed everyone you've ever known is in this film I am not going to talk about everyone. No. I honestly can't even remember half their names, okay? Mm. And uh, all you know is it's a trio. Basically, The Breakfast Club grew up that same collaboration of Jock nerd, mm. cool girl, okay. right? weirdo, yeah. new girl, whatever, um, mm. somehow finds each other in this chaos. But the gist of it is the faculty starts being weird right off the bat. You see some creepy weird stuff. And the difference with like any other kind of thriller horror movie is when the aliens or parasites take over a body. Yeah. It looks like they're being like murdered and dead and there's blood everywhere. But then they just like zoop back to being like a normal person so it's very confusing because you're like wait did that happen did it not happen but it happened it happens man this alien parasite is just flying it's like covid flying through the school i did think of covid a lot the the Mm. faculty was out quick and then it goes to the (laughs) students and all these really different students get kind of like basically teamed up together because they seem to be the only ones that don't get taken over by aliens which i honestly don't know how that happened they're not very unique it just seems like weird luck and they have to figure out how to take back the school and so they like go through these intricate there's chemistry lessons there's (laughs) boy are they 
there. <laughs> Sci-fi history lessons. Oh my god. There's drugs. There's mm. adventure. There's love. There's, oh, it's a bad There's bowl. everything. Ah, but the yeah. most important thing, Kate, is there's Elijah Wood. <laughs> and I want to tell you why this is important. Okay. He did this film before Lord of the Rings. Yeah. And the only reason he knew about Lord of the Rings is someone on this movie said, hey, I heard about a film from Peter Jackson. You should try out for it. They were like, you're so small like a hobbit. <laughs> you better get in there, sir. And he was like, I'm on and it. All I thought about was like, wait, without the faculty, we wouldn't have Lord of the That's Rings so with Elijah Wood. Oh my god. So in conclusion, <laughs> um, it is fun, adventurous, exciting, but the lines, Kate, are bad. Uh, There's some pretty abs- bad lines, but I love it. I it's so nineties, I love it. It's it's perfection and it's everything nostalgia. And I when I saw John Stewart pop on the film, I was fell over. I go, what the Frank is John Stewart doing here? And his weird, like, beard thing. And I was like, John, no! Was uh, it yours? Are you sure you didn't get taken over by the aliens when you got that, that cut? Look I, at that. I, honestly, anytime anyone is weird to me, I'm just gonna assume an alien took over them. I just feel like and some I'm gonna walk away. Bullshit, I gotta go. Walk away, gotta go. It's where you find the nearest high school drug dealer, and then true, you'll be fine. True, yeah. true, true. Kate, I really was lazy with that one. How'd I do? That's <laughs> It's just fine, you know? Oh, I think... you said fine. That means it's not. No, it is fine. That's like when someone says K in a text instead of OK. Oh, my God, boomer, <laughs> relax. Jesus. Did you call me a boomer? <laughs> You take that back. <laughs> Who do you think you Fine. are? Fine. You're a millennial. We're both millennials. Yeah, you're right. Okay. okay. I believe I'm I, an elder. It, <laughs> it was oh, fine in not a bad way, in a good oh. way, because I wow. think we should just go through it, because, you know, I've seen this movie before, yeah. and <laughs> yeah. I yeah. kind of forgot, like, the progression of events. Yeah. However, I did very strongly remember Robert Patrick, because oh, he's man. so scary, and so if anyone scary ever been typecast it's this man because this was post Terminator 2 where he yeah. was the T-1000 yep. and I'm pretty sure that's the only reason he got this role was they were like you're super scary let's make you the evil football coach who's gonna have a lot of weird lines and he was like I can do it literally and he um, like the first scene in the movie I have a quote down let's go you limp ass blow dicks oh that's a title 9 right there what? Damn. Uh, excuse me? Um, also, there's aggressive, angsty 90s music playing. Oh, like, my God. So aggressive. Like, I was like, oh, man. Is this my iPod? Who took it's this? Like, <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. It's bizarre. And very briefly, you see him, like, touch water in the grass. Oh. And I'm like, huh? Uh, yeah. He was, like, roid raging. It was a lot. And then it's, this, but it's like, that's what kicks things off, because we don't see who it is that approaches him, but somebody approaches him off screen, and he's like, what do you want? And then it's like, death, death, faculty. Except it plays emo 90s music instead. And then we immediately cut to a scene. We cut to a scene of teachers being told by their principal that they're not getting anything out of the budget and I wrote this is the real horror and it's still (laughs) happening today and we need to fund public education or else we could be the faculty guys all right is that what you want you want parasites in your ear I don't think so are we writing this film right now is that what we're doing (laughs) this is the the sequel to the faculty are we writing the faculty too but it's about capitalism and budgets (laughs) Um, I mean, it it, it was pretty depressing that this is like the constant theme. Like, oh, the football gets all the money and oh, they're the popular thing. And you're like, oh, God, it's so, so boring. Because this is set to be in Ohio. Oh, my God. It kind of gave me like Texas vibes. They reference that so much. Oh, my God. We're in Ohio. Welcome to Ohio, new girl. Why would aliens come to Ohio? I was like, we fucking get it. (laughs) All right. Your state is four letters. We get it. Okay. Hey, Jesus. <laughs> I had a lot of moments where I was like, we get it! <laughs> oh my god. I I eye-rolled at some of the lines. The, oh, man. I did, though, I think because we just came off, like, again, the breakfast club, and it reminded me of this, but they start with the teachers instead of, like, the students, and yeah. I thought, ooh, 
ooh, this is the switch up from the 80s to the 90s, you know? We get to, like, actually see... Because you somewhat feel bad for the teachers because, yeah. like, you know, they're not... They don't want to be aliens, you know? <laughs> they get murdered, too. <laughs> Nobody chose the alien life. The alien you know? life chose them. They didn't yeah. decide all at once. Like, now's our time. So this opening with the principal getting attacked because oh she ends God. up getting attacked by... The coach. Um, football coach! He's so scary. And he keeps going, do you have a pencil? <laughs> pencil Ooh. and she's like here's a pencil and then he stamps her through the hand damn when she screamed at this point i said that's the mom from jumanji it's the aunt yeah i'm sorry the aunt that yeah. was when i was like wow i made the connection the moment she lost her mind i was oh, like oh you... i remember because all she did was lose her mind in jumanji you remember her surfing on a door with an alligator and the policeman yeah oh my if god only that man was here but he's not and so she gets <sighs> fucking chase through the building and th- this is really like the horror movie part of the movie um and then i feel like the rest of the parts are not as scary like this but this is very like slasher she's getting stalked in a dark school and she's locked in there yeah and, and let's, i don't like okay, it let's talk about something if you're listening you already have seen the movie so we're who cares about spoilers but we know who the real alien is with the new girl yeah how did she get to the faculty like did she sneak into the faculty and then run away? Like, because it, it felt she like... She got to the football coach in that first scene. She was the okay. one off screen. Okay, okay, okay. Because how did then the orange-haired lady... Do we assume he also got her, the I... redhead, at another point? Because that yeah. bamboozled me when she's like, help me! And she's like, I got you. Oh my god, this is so scary. And then all of a sudden she was like... Bleh. <laughs> yeah, I was I like, just, whoa, her too? I just wow. assumed that she was like, I know who's going to be the most aggressive, this fucking football coach. I'll okay. affect him first, and he'll okay. take down he'll go to, he'll go. Wow. all of the adults. Okay. And he wow. fucking did. So wow. so if you haven't seen this movie, and this is the first time you're seeing it, at this point you think, this principal's fucking dead. Darn. You're like, she dead. Dumbo. And they do kind of hide her for a little bit in the beginning, but then we get our character intros. And the first character I have that we get is Josh Hartnett. Bridge, do you remember what his character's name was? Zeke. (coughs) Oh, oh. (laughs) okay. (laughs) Okay. (coughs) Yes. It's just the parasite. It's fine. Oh, God, Katie. Just kidding. Just kidding. Um, I'm sorry. Has anyone ever in the history of life met a real life Zeke? Like a real person. I don't know. Not a a movie or TV character. Like a real, like a real boy. Like, no. I've never actually thought of this. Ever. I just like, again, didn't remember what his name was, but he is like clearly portrayed as like, oh, he's such a burnout. And like, he drives a fast car and he sells drugs. And then they're like, and his name is Zeke. And I'm like, no, it's fucking not. What do you mean? Movie. Why do you Kate, do this to me, this, faculty? This must be your eyebrow moment because I never even thought of that. Oh my god, that's funny. I cannot. Well, I thought what you were gonna say is well. First of all, I'm with you. My notes were like, oh, we're back to school. Like nothing happened. Fine, yeah. fine. And we see. I think it was Mary Beth, the new girl, and yes. Then Danny Masterson pops up, and I was like, the timing Run! is <laughs> whoa, Mary yeah. Beth. Whoa. Whoa. Don't and open the eye. I I just thought like and he's just like buying drugs and then becomes an alien. God, it's not a good you look. Know what, it's not guys? a good I, I will say though, oh my god, in my notes that Josh Hartnett's name was Zelinsky. Maybe that was his last name, but his first name is Zeke. Okay, okay. I was like, why does I write Zelinsky? Wait, but, his last name is Tyler. The movie. And is, I don't know where I got that. My Zelinsky? notes are stupid. But okay. the <laughs> but the point with Josh Hartnett's character that was so funny is they're like he's held back. He's a, like everything you said. He's a burner, but he's really smart. Yeah, totally. if he just applied himself, I'm like <laughs> I don't understand his character at all. Nope. His parents are away, so he decides to come to school. What? What? Why? What? I mean, he could just sell drugs and leave. Why does he have to be there all the time? You know, Rich, I don't know what's happening, Kate. I don't know the answer, but we meet everybody else as well. Um, <laughs> Elijah Wood is in the bathroom with a nosebleed. Oh, because he got beat up. Like, Frodo? right when he walks on 
screen, somebody beats him up. And I was like, this is a lot. And Frodo it, is like, Frodo doesn't even know what's to come. Like, he didn't his have journey. His, like, fellowship yet, you know? <laughs> Where like, was Sam the Brave? <laughs> Sam was Cam G. Would have fucked up those bullies, I'll tell you Can that. Can you imagine? Sam would have ripped off the door. Oh my god. He would have defeated the aliens, I think. Holy we shit. We wouldn't even need, and it, we didn't need any of this nonsense if Sam was there. We just needed Sam. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Well, quickly, I see Selma Hayek and I almost fall over because I go, (laughs) you are better than this, Selma. What's happening? What was happening in 1998? How did you get this role? Were you paid a million dollars? Why are you here? You're better than this. Wait, and her character has like a weird cold. And then I was like, oh, right. That like plays into something. But but then it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't fucking matter. Why did she? She, She's the nurse with a cold. I don't get it. And because she's a cold, she stays late. And because she's late, they can get her alone. Felt like a stretch. That doesn't make like any stretch. sense. Big screenwriting stretch right there. The writer's right room is confused. <laughs> well, and we, there we was should, no showrunner. Okay. We should mention <laughs> who one of the writers was. Oh. From Scream, <gasps> Kevin Williamson. Oh, wow. Yes. Which, I like, make that connection. Yeah. I don't think, you know, he wasn't the only writer, guys. All right. So we assume you saved mind. the movie. It could have been even worse. I was going to say, I feel that. like he probably made it better because without him, we would have been in trouble. But, uh, all right. And then I also have that we meet Stokely, who is <sighs> Clea Duvall. Stokely is an emo kid. Wow. Except she doesn't believe in listening to music or something because <sighs> she just stands around and is sad. And I'm like, there's other ways to be sad. All right. Okay. We got to get this out of the way. Is it the 90s spiel. lesbian? Yes. Her whole spiel. Slander is campaign. She te- yes. <laughs> Everyone hated gay people. Her whole spiel was, I'm a lesbian, so people don't bother me because everyone hates lesbians. Oh. Excuse me? I mean, what? What part of Ohio was this? Though? I, was it I a was very like, what? So <laughs> very- <laughs> questionable part honestly there's got statistically there's definitely at least one other lesbian in the school and like why can't we be friends i don't understand uh, uh, but she wasn't a lesbian she was cosplaying a lesbian it's so true she wasn't a real lesbian. ignored her i was so confused Stupid. i'm like what why can't you just be mean and then no one will talk to you i don't understand she can't be mean because delilah's the mean girl Whoa, delilah was mean delilah needs to have some some, like come to Jesus moments with the counselor with the faculty counselor parasite alien lady because I'm over it alright fucking over it <sighs> I, okay, we really get to see her evil when her boyfriend, who they never even break up, but I guess they do, Stan, who's the quarterback. Oh, yeah, we didn't talk about him. He's a person. He's like, hey, Delilah, my girlfriend, love of my life. <laughs> I think I want to quit football because I just feel like people don't appreciate the fact that I'm just a person and not just, like, something that gets them good football wins. And, like, everyone just, you know, basically hands me things because I'm this great football player. And It was I just breakfast club. Well, and yeah, and he, and he was like, so, you know, I just kind of want to like be better and I'm just going to quit. And even though I'm not smart, I'm going to figure it out. And, and she's like, are you kidding? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> what kind of reaction is that? 1998. And so, and then he was like, stop being so superficial. She's like, the head cheerleader has to date the quarterback. She's like, well, I guess we break up. I was like, what happened right that, now? I, 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 my fan theory is that was not a Kevin Williamson uh, character <laughs> decision because what the fuck? Also, I'm sorry. Sorry. Head cheerleader, and you're the newspaper, whatever person. Not happening. Not I don't happening. believe it. Don't, I don't believe, believe it, it either. for one moment in time. Uh, Somebody email us and tell us if your head cheerleader of your high school was also the newspaper editor because it's a no. That's for a me busy thought. person. <laughs> <laughs> just not a thing. Um, so those are like the main people, and we just again kind of see them briefly, and then it does it cuts back to the faculty. That's where we see Salma Hayek. We see John Stewart. I'm and dead. He's like, "Hey, Salma, how's your cold, girl?" And I was like, oh "Why God. is she so cold?" so many questions oh my god every teacher in this building is in this tiny ass faculty room again i don't think this is real life at all but fine it's fucking fine it was so absurd the cuts were like here's elijah wood sipping on an apple juice box i'm like (laughs) what and then it would be like that new girl casey is like hi i'm casey from atlanta oh she's very bad yeah and then uh delilah is like don't go near the violent lesbian. And then literally she she responds like, I'm from Atlanta. I never met a lesbian. I was like, 
what's happening right now? Yep. The, the writing, the lines are out of control. And just when you think you don't know what's happening, Usher walks in. And he's like, oh, oh, no, no, Usher, no, Usher, no, Usher, no, Usher. no, 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 Oh my god, uh, I was fucking wish dying. he did that so badly. He was just like a bully, basically. I don't Everybody know. Everybody was a bully. Literally every person's <laughs> movie except Elijah Wood was a bully. And I'm not okay with it. Well, and, <laughs> and, wow. and, uh, and as usual, Frodo, aka Elijah Wood, finds this parasite in the ground. Oh my goes god. To John Stewart. That John Stewart today would have saved this school. Yeah. That John Stewart in 1998 was like, let me multiply it like grains in water, <laughs> feed it after midnight, and it uh, become an alien it, myself. <laughs> it basically had gremlin rules because right when he put it in the fucking water, then he's like, wow, there's more of them. <laughs> cool. And I was like, is it cool or are we all going to die? At I, least put the lid on the aquarium, sir. I was horrified. Oh my God. Yeah. It's just... It, Wait. Like, the the finding <laughs> of the parasite is... So casual. And, and fucking Josh Hartnett comes in to the classroom of nowhere and he's like, do you think that's a beady bada boo bada species? <laughs> I was like, shut up! Shut Wait, up! Bridge, you didn't, you didn't talk about it yet, but let's take a pause and talk about it, because not only does he have a dumbass name, but Josh Hartnett's character also has a dumbass haircut. Give me the thoughts, give me the thoughts, give me your Joan Rivers thoughts, let's hear them. Out here on the carpet, we have what's called not trying hard haircut, but the gel keeps it in place, and I hated it. Those spiky locks weren't doing anything for that beautiful face. All the 90s, men try harder. There was definitely hair gel involved. <laughs> It looked like um, <laughs> the Ace Ventura, the second one, when he does like the white devil thing. That's what oh, it Quincy <laughs> Quincy Ocha. That's what oh it reminded God. me of. I was oh like, God. I just want you to invest in a hairbrush. Just one, maybe. And, but and every shirt he wore looked oversized. Like so oversized, large. And they were like thermal holes in it and he just Ugh. it looks like he was constantly like rolling his Ugh. shoulders i have no idea what was happening i was just like i can't even follow we have gremlins in a fish tank <laughs> elijah wood doesn't know his frodo fate what is john stewart doing here i crazy and it's, then it bites john stewart now do we assume that bite is what made john stewart an alien or we think oh that happened later maybe i don't know if that's what did it or if like off screen something happened because every other time, it's like an alien goes fully into a person, Ugh, yeah, which is like gross. So I don't know. But um, they're all like, anyway, let's go about our day. This school has an Olympic sized swimming pool. All right. Uh, incredible. The school budget Ohio? is out of control. Ohio. If we're mad at the football team, we certainly should be mad at the swim team. I was going <laughs> to mean, say, something's I mean, happening. The maintenance alone. I was going to, yeah, the te- our taxpayer dollars goes towards chlorine so awesome but oh this is important because stan he goes up to the coach this should have been his first clue that there's fucking aliens because he goes up to the coach who's normally angry and scary and he's like hey coach i'm gonna quit and the coach is like excellent that's just yeah. fine and then he's yeah. like wow thanks for understanding and i was like you're a fucking dumbass you should have called fox Mulder 10 <laughs> minutes ago you psychopath <laughs> jesus christ these kids like tell ya honestly i feel like this was the scene he's like whoa coach that wasn't so bad i was like delilah was meaner than the coach she what was. was happening yeah and delilah's not an alien yet maybe mm. yeah and I wonder about that oh god and then we have the naked shower scene with mrs broom okay <laughs> wait what's her name <laughs> mrs broom i thought it was mrs broom what is it i don't know what's what it name? is but i didn't write a name down but i oh. hope it's i hope it's mrs broom it's amazing. <laughs> i thought it was mrs broom i just wrote going. there's a naked old teacher melting in the shower it was so inappropriate and i and why wasn't anyone else showering also i don't know and i i kept thinking i go you know nice 1998 we're not getting naked in the showers in I high school i don't think we are we aren't no. because you know i went to school like after 19 high school after 1998 but like showers were not a thing you think, know yeah like no. that just i just i just wrote like this can't be a thing anymore but she just like hangs on him and then they give this whole backstory of like well she has cancer and oh my she's god she's dying and no one at all says i'm so sorry some naked lady who is supposed to be the faculty 
care of you basically jumps you naked in the shower but we move on pretty quickly i also love how at this point in the movie you still don't see the principal so it's still the red hair teacher and the football coach and the red hair teacher is the one that's like yeah yeah cancer obviously how else would she lose her hair and i was like uh i mean there's other ways but sure and then literally there's a scene immediately after this where casey and delilah are like talking about i don't even fucking know what casey calls delilah a bitch and then her immediate response is are you hitting on me 90s what (laughs) and i do want to point out because yeah it's relevant listeners all of the screenwriters were men and that's not how women respond to being called a bitch i hope you guys learned that since 1998 because what the fuck as we know when molly ringwald gets sexually assaulted and (sighs) then goes and smokes weed with judd nelson that would not happen either no none of this would happen None of it. Um, he also responded so awkward to her, very Frodo. He was like, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> I'm not like, hitting on you. Stop. I hate that. You know what we're not talking about, though? But this is, this was also kind of like a big essence was the music. It'd be like, oh. da-da, da-da, da-da. and sometimes yeah. I would be like, it would jump, make me jump scare. And one of them was when the coach was just like hanging out in the sprinklers. Oh, it was my like, God. It was like, da-da, da-da, da-da. I was like, what? That was so funny. I wrote that down. He's just fucking standing there and nobody like thinks it's weird except for Elijah. (laughs) Oh my God. And then Josh Hartnett is selling the tape, the VHS tape for Wild Things. Pen 15 Wild Things? Yes, yes. And he's like, yes, two women are kissing in the film. So this was the time where all we did was rip on lesbians and gay people, but we loved wild things. Yeah. We were sexually confused in the (laughs) 1990s. Yeah. I I didn't catch that at all. I thought he was just selling drugs. And then the science teacher, who was Fam K. Jenkins, or not the science teacher, um, I don't know what she is. She's like an English teacher. Oh, I hated this relationship relationship okay first of all it's inappropriate i don't give a shit that he's held back a year or whatever bullshit screenwriting um she's like you can't be selling stuff in the parking lot and i was like why are we even talking to him why even bother why bother if you're gonna use your mouse voice let me know okay (laughs) jesus i would dream in faculty too when that happens you come in katie and you're like drop kick him and you're like listen (laughs) give me all your drugs you're gonna be arrested (laughs) I'm like, that's it. The attention. After school on a sat or Saturday at the Breakfast Club. <laughs> the bull by the horns. You better fucking enjoy that. He does say to his teacher, Would you like some cherry flavored condoms? Oh my god. I that's a hate that's that. at least two detentions, right? That, <laughs> like, I don't know I don't know the school code. Okay? Something's I wrong. Just, I just know that this like I'm gonna flirt with the hot meek teacher i i just it does not age well it's gross hated it okay hated it. so but hated. this is where now it's after school and casey and delilah delilah's like come on casey let's go snoop at the faculty lounge for a hot scoop and i was like again <laughs> not what the scoop why aren't be. you at cheerleading practice why aren't you cheerleading who's these cheerleading? two things can't happen delilah, at the same time you're gonna miss the big game all right focus uh, how can you be the head cheerleader okay but they have to hide in a closet because the um, nurse, Selma Hayek, comes in and then scary football coach and oh. the redhead lady come in and they kill Selma Hayek. And it's scary. And they put a worm in her ear. And I hated it. I, I hated it. And hated they it. were watching this from the closet, horrified. And then there was a dead person in the closet. Was that Mrs. I, Broom? I think that was Mrs. Mrs. Broom. Mrs. Broom was I in the broom like, closet. The broom was in the broom closet. <laughs> That's fucked up, guys. And then they lose it. They lose it. And then obviously the coach and the redhead lady are like, uh, uh uh-oh, someone's here. But then they they make a run for it. And, oh, that's that's Aukies, too. Because you know what, Kate? You know me. As we talk about fight or flight, I'm a flighter. You'd be Delilah. I would be Delilah. Zoom, I'm out. But instead of her getting caught becoming an alien, Mm. I would be Ohio, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York. I'm heading straight for Bermuda. I'm going as 
bar? Okay. You know, my geography is... I got, Am I, did I, 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 I'm a little tangled. Where is Spain? I'll look it up later. Surf <laughs> we'll look okay. it up later. Uh. So yeah, Casey gets caught though, and he gets caught by the dead principal, who's oh. not dead, and she's oh. alive, and she's like, what's the problem? She's We're like, huh? Call- they killed someone? So silly, like, Elijah. You better chill the fuck out. And then wow. she's like, I'm gonna call your parents, and his dad is Christopher McDonald. I... Shooter McGavin. I what? can't believe... What? I'm sorry. Uni- what, what universe in what? Lord of the Rings is Frodo's dad, Shooter McGavin? Shooter McGavin. What <laughs> t- is that the timeline that a we're golfing on right now? Hob- I, honestly, a golf and <laughs> Hobbit. Those kind of seem like they would go together. I'm just saying. <laughs> I can't even. I don't know what's happening. It's so much. But Bridge, we get a fucking amazing anti-drug scene from the 90s where the parents are like, are you smoking crack, son? <laughs> that dare program from the police told me it's bad. And he's like, oh my God, parents. This is when Shooter McGavin goes, I'm taking your phone, unplugs it from the wall, then goes, I'm taking your computer, also unplugs the internet. And I thought, that can't happen anymore. No. You can't say, I'm taking your internet, because that's not how internet (laughs) works anymore. Yeah. Wow, that's dating this movie. Uh, And he also takes his boob magazine. Yes, you heard me right. The magazine is called Boob. Oh, God. Not boobs. Singular. Honestly, we would change that in Faculty 2 to Second Breakfast magazine. (laughs) And it would just be pancakes and waffles. (laughs) Just hobbits eating breakfast. Uh, I'm so sorry. Oh, Um, my God. I cannot, but the thing that sucked is nobody believed him. And he goes, okay, okay, okay. But what about Delilah? Guys, Delilah, I'm not crazy. Delilah was there. Delilah, Delilah. But now we know why she wasn't telling anyone. When did she get alien? I don't know when she got alien. I don't either. Yeah. But I, I felt like it might have already happened. You know what I mean? Like before all of it? Yeah, because she didn't change personalities. Like she just... She's the she's like, f- fucking same, well, honestly. He, literally, her ex-boyfriend was like, you're wearing glasses now. What are you in disguise? I was like, wait, is this is this how we know she changed? She wore, put on glasses? No, that's <laughs> what she know. said. She's like, I'm in disguise. And I was like, oh what God. disguise? Who's disguise? You're the head cheerleader and you run the paper. We all know who you are, <laughs> bitch. Damn. And no, I'm not hitting on you. Damn. Oh my uh, God. So the ne- now it's like the next day and this is where shit goes down. Casey wow. finds Delilah real quick and she's like, has her hair in a pony and the like <laughs> eyeglasses. It's so dumb. And she goes, let's go get Stan and tell him about this. And I wrote, Stan is not Fox Mulder or Dana Scully. <laughs> you guys need to sort out your priorities. There'll be a lot more priority sorting <laughs> claims for me as the movie goes on, by the way. I dream of that. Also in Faculty 2 going to happen. We're going to need a big budget for all these star cast members. <laughs> I wrote, and for whatever reason, I think because all they did was kept taking water, I wrote, this alien parasite ruined climate change. Because they just kept stealing all the water. It is a lot of water drinking. Because, because do you remember that, like, montage where they're bringing in, like, jugs of water? Honestly, it reminded me of our dad. Like, literally, like, water bottles. People don't forget. Like, remember the big, giant jug they used to have in their their freaking master bedroom or whatever? Yeah, why did they Oh my god. That was weird. Why did they have so, I, all I knew was I it was in the bathroom. Up there. Oh my god! Wait, are mom and dad aliens? Oh, oh shit! No. Oh it's god! Been, honestly, no, it's been so long at this. They point. have too much coffee. There's no way they'd be so dehydrated. <laughs> the aliens would be dehydrated as. Fuck. Oh my god! I also wrote when Stan gives his whole speech about how I'm sick of everyone kissing my butt and whatever. I wrote Stan is can enough. <laughs> 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 Yo, for real. And unfortunately, Stokely <sighs> is being a brainwashed Barbie. And she's like, tell me more, Stan. I'm your therapist now. And I wrote, guys, there's aliens! Can we focus? <laughs> focus, please. All right. Well, so we, again, there's dumbass flirting. I'm focused on aliens. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay. But you do start to see that there's weird things happening. The teachers are acting weird. Some students are acting weird. And then yes. all of these students start to get lined up to get an ear check. Yeah. That's not school protocol, guys. Use your noggins. You know? Uh, well, and then everybody, again, I know the one writer you love, but the rest must have put this in here. They were like, something weird's going on here. I was like, <laughs> Where, 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 where? Yeah. Um, and uh, I wrote, 
I, I wrote the same thing about these weird ear exams. And remember, there's like the two couple where the one girl's like screaming at the boyfriend, like, "Oh, and he's What's just wrong with you? sitting something. there catatonic." Yeah. That was the dude from Scream, one of the characters from Scream, and oh, she gets her ear exam, and then they're like kissing, and that's how we're supposed to know when you're an alien, you have a better relationship with your boyfriend. <laughs> I missed that. Oh, no. I felt like they were trying to have, like, a example of, like, the, the transition, you know? Well, and then the, the mousy teacher is like, Hey, Zeke, now I'm Jessica Rabbit. How oh. you doing, hot stuff? And I was like, uh-oh. God. Again, should we call the police? Anybody at all want to call the police? Let me know. I'm ready. She says to him in front of all the students, Eat me, asshole. That's... That's- an aggressive teacher and then says i wouldn't mind those cherry condoms Uh, oh i would ma'am excuse me excuse me ma'am hey this was the point where i was like these lines are enough (laughs) i cannot take it thank god katie this is where somebody like you comes in and saves the movie thank god stokes is like let's talk about the pod people she's like let me tell you about the history of scary theory i'm like hell yeah bring it on she's like invasion of the body snatchers she's like but here's the thing then the people would die i don't know what's happening here we got to figure who's the pod where the pods come where they put the bodies i was like this is great i want this i want more yep. fixing and less reacting okay and less let's make out with each other because mean. we have a timeline and it's it's moving all right oh my god so at this point now casey who is elijah wood casey stokely delilah and stan the four of them are like all right let's not get in line to get our ears checked because that's suspicious let's go check on those little alien things that we gave to the science teacher yesterday because as we know in gremlins the science teacher who experimented on the organism is probably dead dead probably dead or close to so let's go check it out let's check it out and uh yeah the things are missing they're missing they're fucking missing honestly i though i can't believe you didn't bring this up this was also the point that they said maybe the x-files were right direct quote and i wrote first of all they are and then they said maybe they are aliens and then they referenced men in black and i fell off my chair amazing i mean talk about a nostalgia reference we just need keep them coming keep them coming kids i'm ready cow bring them on um and i i think at this point i wrote how are they not connecting the dots with the weird alien thing i mean come on and then finally they're like wait do you think the parasite (laughs) from the fish tank (laughs) took over the faculty and i was like yes 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 i yes fucking do yes this is also where mary beth and zeke i don't know how or why and i wrote a note being like who fucking cares they like sneak off into like a closet and he's like i'm stealing supplies for my drugs and she's like oh my god you're a thief (laughs) haha anyway you want to make out and he's like maybe but then he's like actually i'd rather go bully these kids next door because that's what everyone in this high school does you'll learn mary beth don't worry and so he goes in, pretends to be, like, an alien because he hears them talking about it. And then he's like, <laughs> just kidding, I'm not an alien. And then John Stewart immediately comes in and is like, hey, kids, I might be one. And you're like, shit, John Stewart. John Stewart gets his fingers chopped off. And then the little alien tentacles. Ew, we hated the tentacles. They're you so know what's, gross. Honestly, people joke about John Stewart, like, running for president because he's just, like, gotten so into politics and i don't know if he ever will great president i think he'd be fantastic and i would totally freaking vote for him but i honestly feel like this would be a moment that would hurt him because they'd be like the other opponent would be like (laughs) do you remember (laughs) john stewart is just a stupid alien You he can't even keep fingers, his fingers off from his Josh Hartnett. Fingers are sentient. Do you remember? <laughs> uh, yeah, I can fucking see that. Because half the population would be like, oh, we can't vote for him now. He's an <laughs> alien. <laughs> but this uh, is a defining moment because this is where we learn the aliens have a weakness. And it's the drugs in these little the ballpoint pens that Zeke uh, sells in the parking lot. Uh, what the listen, fuck? My God. I had no... It's basically caffeine. Again, this is why our parents are definitely not 
aliens. They're, yeah, they're good. They live on caffeine. They're um, just fine. But that's essentially all it is. It's like, it's caffeine, a little extra stuff to get you kind of feeling high. And uh, what is he? He sticks it in his face or something. He Ooh, shoves it in his eyeball. Ooh. And then he like disintegrates. And then they're all like, oh, perfect. Now we got to go get more drugs. And he's like, got to go to my drug lab. Everybody come along with uh, me. What? Very, very, very Judd Nelson in this moment. But you know what's kind of funny about these aliens? They're very clean. Because, mm. like, Jon Stewart's body just, like, disintegrates. And then poof goes away. The aliens, they don't like scurry around and try to get someone else. They just poof. No, because they think they die. Yeah. They're dead. Oh. And then this is, they also come up with this theory where they're like, okay, there's like a queen alien something something. And if we kill the queen, all the other ones might also die in theory. And then maybe not all the people will die. And you're like, I don't know about that. That was not an episode of the X-Files, so my knowledge is limited. But sure, let's okay. fucking try. You're an alien expert. Well, what would you have done? What would be your thought? I mean, I loved the scene where they're, he's like, we're all going to sniff the drugs. And I was like, this is the best scene in the movie. Best scene. Best scene in the movie. Best because scene. Because that's exactly what I would do. I'd be like, all right, let's all fucking do it. I mean, it is basically the exact scene from The Thing. If you all have seen the thing where they're testing the blood to wow. see who's the alien. Wow. And yeah, but it's just so fucking awesome. And also this guy, he lives in a like really mansion and the whole garage is a science drug lab. What do you mean? Wait, and it's think- waterfront property. What do you mean? <laughs> Incredible. Hello? Incredible. Oh I also, there's, I'm going back to some of my lines when they're leaving the school, like they're running away from John Stewart or they just, they just murdered a teacher and they're running away. Yeah. Everyone is like, Delilah, Zeke, go, oh. Casey, and it's like this like weird whisper, and they're like they're like don't look at anyone, keep going, keep going, and the and Danny Masterson's like, hey man, can I buy some pens? Can I buy some more pens? Can I buy some more pens? And they just run away, and I wrote, I would have driven to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Which is because North the <laughs> Katie, <laughs> right? Take yeah. some geography lessons. Damn but it. the um freaking there's cops outside of the high school. So then they were like, oh, oh, there's a so you gotta stop and we gotta check you. And Josh Hartnett, smart man, was yeah, like, oh, I'm out of here. I've seen this. Before. Trust out of no one. Okay, but back to his big fancy house where his parents are not there, and he has like a chemistry set in the basement, it's a garage. Like 20 I don't know. Chemistry set, and then he has a gun, and Frodo's like, "What is that?" Oh my god! And then he kills his like pet mouse. I did we don't need to do that? Understand why he gave it a parasite? So and then he kills it, and then he's like, "Now I can dissect it to find the parasite." And I was like, but you know there's a parasite in there. <laughs> what are we learning? I'm I, I I was so confused. I don't know. Then they were like, well, the parasite needs water. And since people are mainly water, and the drugs are a diuretic, they dry the aliens out. I was like, we get that, we people. Get it. <laughs> we got, got it. it. I saw the alien in the fish tank. Start all there and cleanse. Let's go. Oh, Jesus. oh my god i just i loved the fact that i don't like i'm with you this was a really good scene and i didn't know it was delilah i forgot it was delilah and it was pretty crazy crawling all over her face yeah so creepy well and it's good too because the last people to do it are delilah and mary beth and delilah's yeah. the one that's like make her do it she's the new one and i was like damn delilah you were right about one thing Thing. Wrong about thousands, but right but about I, one. But as like an alien, I also feel like kind of stupid because you're like, kill the mom that will kill me. But or I don't they know, not know who the mom is. I don't know if she knew who the mom was, and I also <laughs> don't know if she knew that she was aliens. You know, <laughs> clearly this I don't this parasite group is just not talking. There's <laughs> there's not a lot of communication. They're great at spreading, the not necessarily <laughs> anything else. Nobody knows anything else. But Delilah when she gets out 
outed, Oof. she destroys his chemistry sets. Ouch. And then they're like, no, our drug shit. And then she she runs. Okay, she runs out of the garage. Wow. It's nighttime. And you're just like, oh, I guess she'll just like run away and they can like drive her down. She runs to a waiting taxi cab uh, bridge. Who? Uh, Is that the only thing the aliens communicated on? Uh, they had a walk talk uh, system to get the cab uh, driver there for the getaway? Uh, uh, Hello? Blo- uh, <laughs> who wrote this? <laughs> Hello? I, I was blown away and I thought, if they know she's there, why don't they just come in and kill all the kids, you know? Yeah, people. Jesus. So crazy. I no, don't know. Fucking no. That's a pretty epic Uber. Like, Uber for aliens? I mean, they're always ready, I guess. Freaky fast. To, to speed away, so. There's a, have you heard of Jimmy John's or is that only a Midwest uh, thing? No, I love Jimmy John's. Okay, you know how their motto is like, freaky fast? Yeah. <laughs> so, like, that would be their, like, oh my god, Jimmy John's uh, aliens? Get out. Ooh. That'd be even faster. Wow, but... Okay. And, and this is the part where I remember watching the movie and I'm like, oh, Mary Beth is the mother alien that I yes. forgot about. But then she acts all silly and high. I mean, phenomenal acting from these aliens. I gotta tell you. They, um, you know, yeah. You just don't know who is and isn't an alien. So check your left and right and front and center. It could be your best <laughs> friend. <laughs> we don't know. So this is where they're like, okay, next plan is we're gonna try to go find the queen alien where could they be i know I they're cannot. all at the football I, game I literally so re- delilah <laughs> didn't go to even though she's a head cheerleader and somebody probably put out an amber alert i Great. wrote in big letters america america the, the, the a song when they get to the football field is we don't need oh no education i was like what don't we do 1998 you don't know what's to come. We need education. We need education. We don't education. need Usher flipping some other football <laughs> players, okay? We don't need that, and we don't need pyrotechnics at the high school football game, Insane. guys. That's our taxpayer dollars. Wow, the budget. The budget. That was really funny, though, in the football game, because literally, they would, like, tackle someone, and then, like, secretly put an alien in their ear, and then just, like, go about the game. And I was like, uh, how is this a game? What uh, What is going on? I have. Why are the aliens entertaining this? Do the aliens I, like football now? Again, they were great at spreading, not so great <laughs> at anything else. They didn't have any direction. I, I just wrote, honestly, how do they know who is and isn't an alien? Why are they there? I was like, the gym is closed. I don't. The gym, <sighs> I don't know what's happening. The gym is closed Um, because they get in the school because apparently schools are not locked. And then Stan is the one who's like, don't worry, guys, I'm going to go out. Out, and I'm gonna see if the coach is the alien, yes. uh, the main alien, and I'll take my little drugs, and you know, I'll just go by myself. And they're like, great idea. And then it wasn't a great idea. It was not a good idea. It was a pretty dumb idea. It was a bad idea. He was bad at this. It was real bad. Oh. Oh. Also, what? Bridge, um, because, <laughs> you know, even though we're fighting for our lives, and we have priorities about life and death and aliens, wow. we gotta take a couple seconds to make out. Did you know that's what we do <gasps> when aliens are made? Did you know we make out? You didn't know? Now you know. Stokes, who <laughs> pretends to be a lesbian so people won't talk to her, but actually isn't a lesbian, mm. <sighs> makes out with Stan and says, I just didn't want to not do that. I'm sorry, Kate. I just didn't want to watch it. Stokes, <laughs> how about that? I'm going to tell you right now, in your dating life, anyone you make out with, anyone, they ever say this to you, that means you're turning into an alien. So I want you to run. <laughs> Really, really, really far away. Okay? That's the only indication I'm going to be an alien is if I hear that. Okay, great. Um, it's kind of like, I'll down. be right back. Oh, you know? be back. You'll be dead. Or an <laughs> alien. Oh, my God. Everyone's okay. a fucking alien. Oh, Yo, and they, they kill they the kill principal. Us, they kill us. Ouch. Jumanji Ant, down and out for the count. He shoots her right in the head. Zeke. Josh Hartnett. He shoots her in the head, and then she she, like wakes up because at first like oh my god we killed a lady and then she wakes up they're like just kidding it's an alien it doesn't count fucking mary beth sneaky bitch has the big thing of drugs and she dumps all the drugs on her Whoa. so now there's no drugs and then her defense is like i was scared and i was like bullshit i call bullshit <laughs> throw the flag 
She's an alien. At this, at this part in the faculty, too, Katie does her Pee Wee Herman 40 this items of evidence a. from A to Z Dumped and all puts the Mary Beth on the hot seat and says, and this is why I believe this is mother. Exhibit X. Yeah. It was really slick, though. I was like, oh, I mean, feels real. I don't know. It wasn't too cheesy. Yeah, but this is how Zeke... Zeke Zeke's and, like, I gotta uh, get more. I gotta get more. Yeah, Keep they gotta car. go out to the car. And him yes. and Casey go, not who I would have chose. I but... gotta say, I'm Frodo. Mm. I'm pissed. Because we get there, and he's like, why are both of us here? As he's terrified, rightfully so. That's the real question. Josh Hartnett goes, well, I'm gonna get the drugs because I know where it is. You're the decoy. So basically, you're just gonna run around from a bunch of very athletic aliens that are three times your size in their football field <laughs> parking lot. <laughs> Good luck. Not fair. Sam the Brave wouldn't do it. She wouldn't do it. I'm just going to say. That's where you call the Eagles and you call it a day. Am I right? Holy oh cow. I'd call that one a day. Yeah, uh, yeah. But somehow Casey lives. I don't even fucking. He jumps through the roof of the bus and I honestly didn't see it coming, but he's so little. It makes sense. He's yeah. very slippery, that one. You know, the spiders come after him. There's just, he can get away from anything. Yes. And Zeke gets <laughs> drugs and then somehow I think they both make it back to to the school. This is when the teacher that was hitting on Zeke is like, hey, what are you doing? And he's like, uh, hey. And then somehow they get into a car chase in the parking lot and then he crashes and her head falls off and then you see the alien tentacles of her head find the alien body and then he's like, I gotta go. <laughs> I was like, whoa, mama. The CGI, not that bad. It is an appropriate reaction to that. Um, yeah, you know, when your head becomes like tentacles. Too much. How do you become a human again? After I that, I don't know. Like, this, this do is, your this bones is, and muscles just like reconnect? Oh. This is an incredible parasite. If only it didn't want to murder us all. The yeah. scientific breakthrough. Well, and we are going to talk about the alien motivation because I think it's relevant. And we're getting close to it because this Thank is God. where Mary Beth and Stokely are alone. And Mary Beth is like, oh, gosh, God. Stokely, you're such a lesbian, but not a lesbian. And you made <laughs> out with that guy once. And anyway, wouldn't life be wonderful if like everyone just like was the same? What? <laughs> was good. a lesbian and, and we're all just a bunch of little lesbians <laughs> don't you want to be like that stokely and then stokely's like what the fuck are you talking about and then all of this is the reveal that mary beth uh, is a big slut good for you but not <laughs> she's the alien queen and, and by I the way it's know. not a build-up she's just like i'm the alien <laughs> and then just literally her alien body just unloads and she grows like 300 feet it was a Very lot dramatic and i thought listen if you're gonna try to sell the human race I, you gotta do better than this because you just immediately showcased yourself after like i don't know i mean it the whole what the whole thing was like there's no pain everybody belongs you just don't feel any hurt i'm like uh okay <laughs> i don't know but like that lady's head came off she didn't feel any hurt i don't like, know you kind of just seem like you're on drugs i don't know you know i don't get it also she makes a speech like now she's the alien and she's like hunting them and she says this speech where she's like my home planet was beautiful and everything's wonderful and life oh is good God. anyway i left there and now i'm here and I'm because like, of the oceans no she goes she my came planet here for the oceans <laughs> no <wait>, she, <laughs> she came to ohio <laughs> she <laughs> I, I don't know if maps, but I know there's that's, no ocean there. That's a plot point we have to talk about. Yeah, she it's goes, all done. Had my, had my planet, we had eight oceans the size of, I don't something big. And then they all dried up. She never said why. She oh, goes, they dried so, up? I didn't so even hear I, that. So I decided to, to help my people. And I came here to find. And you're right. Why wouldn't she go on the east or west coast? Bitch, why, why wouldn't you just go on the ocean? You can infect all the fish in there. I don't even I... know if you need to infect anything. Is it Man. for you or us? Or I... who was it for? I just, she was like, everything was perfect with my oceans. Well, it's fine because uh, they decide to run by the pool because that makes sense to do you know with what? the alien that needs water don't you know I let's know. give one up for frodo because you know stokely just gets ripped to shreds yeah. head knocked out drowning and elijah jumps in to save her that's super brave i don't know if i would have counts a friend in that moment well, then i would have been like uh are you an alien 
you know, ready. I gotta go. And then she's infected, and you're like, God damn it. Oh, man. So then they cage her, and it's Aki. It's mainly, so now it's Casey, and then Zeke, like, reappears. I don't remember where he was. Well, because he was in the parking lot running away from the scary oh, teacher head. The, the tentacle head, yes, of course. Yes. Um, This is a good time to make a mention that, oh. listeners, this movie was <sighs> a Miramax movie. Why is it uh, relevant for this moment? Let me tell you why that was relevant for this moment. It was because relevant. this movie that was funded by Harvey Weinstein uh, thought it made sense to make this alien girl who she already turned into an alien, and then for some reason she turns back into human form. Uh, turned her back into human form naked. Naked. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. You can be naked. Naked. And I don't need to see it. Don't need to see it. But we saw it. I wrote the same thing. We saw lots of things. I go. Oh, of like, course she she's naked. She could have been in Boob Magazine, you know? God forbid we Jesus. don't have a naked woman here. Yeah. Where's the naked alien men? Mm? Oh, mm. Honestly. Okay. She's also supposed to be a high schooler, so that's Now, gross. this was somewhat funny because when she turns back to human form, she's like, Casey, where are you? And he's like, "What? Is, oh, I don't know what's happening. Whatever." And like, he kind of doesn't know what's happening. And then well, this is where Zeke is like, "Hey, girl." Oh, that's right. No, Casey does. I'm sorry, Zeke. Zeke yeah. is like, "Hey, what's happening?" And then <laughs> she goes, "Um, <laughs> so why are you naked?" <laughs> And she I was like, uh, does give away Mary Beth. She does not Aki. have a good response. She just goes, "Don't you like it?" And I was like, Ew. "You know, Mary Beth, just not the time." Again, I know everyone wants to make out, but it's just not the time. Not the right? time. Jesus I just. Christ. But by the way, I just feel like then they screamed like, "I thought everybody sniffed the thing. How are you an alien?" Blah blah blah. And she's like, "Did I sniff the thing?" And then it does this like <laughs> clue esque flashback <laughs> where she pops Stupid. the Ken pop over him. Oh my god. Oh my um god. but thank god she gets like how does she get defeated again? Oh oh the she bleachers. She gets squished in the bleachers, which that is pretty was awesome. Epic. Yeah. Again, Elijah Wood. Honestly, yeah. Peter Jackson, he should have been like, Did you see the bleacher scenes? I could do Lord of the Rings. That little guy could run. I'm Frodo. Yeah. Um, it, 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 on uh, honestly, Elijah Wood was pretty amazing in this yeah, movie. Yeah, no, he was great. And I feel like Elijah was screaming at Mary Beth because she's like, Casey, you don't have to be afraid anymore. And he's like, oh, I'd rather be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> and then runs towards the bleachers. I was like, this is amazing. Oh my god, but then there's a very, very, very bad line where he throws the pen cap and he says, guaranteed to jack you up as like um, a final line. Uh died died so and zeke's hard. like i didn't approve that slogan for my drugs actually <sighs> so take it back um uh, and <laughs> you know the movie could end there it doesn't no it doesn't no. End there. no we get a one month <laughs> later and i go one month later how are we all not mentally detained one month <laughs> later <laughs> we all should have been in a hospital but no we're not um zeke is on the football team <laughs> Wait, hello? It is Zeke's eighth year in high I'm school. Sorry. He is now on the football team. <laughs> he should be a coach at this point, but fine. Um, <laughs> also, God. now he's dating the teacher whose head is back on. I, I, I cannot. There's no the more pedophile, tentacles. The pedophile alien teacher, the damage that Josh Hartnett has to date this woman. Regardless, I cannot. And like, regardless of age, because age is the main problem, if I see someone's head come off and there's tentacles, no. like, I can't unsee that, you know? I can't. Uh, I'm not interested i don't know i'm not interested um stokely has a breakfast club makeover because she no longer wears the color black and now <sighs> she dates stan and i was like that's such a fucking downgrade stokely keep being a fake lesbian i just <laughs> or be a real one i don't know be something but don't don't be that come on <sighs> <sighs> so and good. uh unfortunately delilah does not die and her and casey make out i is that cannot. the progression I of events so hard hello seeing delilah and frodo make out i laughed what the fuck? out loud and i i was like I, I gotta walk away i have to walk away from this movie too well, much thank god it ended i swear to god if usher came out on the stage <laughs> and started like dancing i would have been like that's enough you're cut off <laughs> shutting this shit down right cutting now. it off 
Okay, oh but we God. did it. So what do you think? Should we watch it or don't watch it? I mean, I think it's funny. I don't know if it's always supposed to be funny, but... You, you know, know, it's pretty good. It's fun. It's pretty good. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah. So, so yes, watch it. Tell people to watch it. I'm going to no? say yes. I think you guys should watch it. Here, here. Here, here. Give it a rewatch. Apparently it's on YouTube, according wow. to Bridget. With ads. Just know that. Um... It's my pick. Yeah. And it's the end of the month. Whoa. Where we normally do no nostalgic, nostalgic movies. Happy hour. But oh. I couldn't think of one, so okay. I'm not doing it. <laughs> we'll pick that up next month. Okay, this is a listener pick instead, and I Ooh. thought it was epic. And this is from... Laura. 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 Wow. Blew my mind with this one. Okay. Laura says, hi there, sisters. Wow. Hey. I don't think you've done this one before. And labels it. Says, uh, hope uh, you enjoy, basically. Uh, I don't feel like reading the rest, but love oh, you, Laura. Wow. We love I, you. <laughs> I'm going to read this description because I am so excited. I just can't hide it. Okay. Two best friends. Okay. Two best friends. This is 1991. Okay. A good year, Kate. Mm, so Two nice best... Friends. That's... Yep. That's what oh, I meant. Uh, All right. Uh, All right. <laughs> we got there. Okay. Two best friends set out on an adventure. 1991. But it soon turns around to a terrifying escape from being hunted by the police. Is it two women? Is it? I don't... I don't know, is it? Take a guess. What do you think it is? Is it Thelma and Louise? It's Thelma and Louise! Gina Davis again! Oh my god, Susan Sarandon. Susan Sarandon. We went to her ping pong place. We did go to her ping pong place. Donnie Henson driving a cool desert, but there's no tremors. Is it Brad Pitt in this movie? Oh, this is Brad Pitt's like first movie. Oh my god. A Ridley Scott film. (gasps) Oh, alien director. Fuck yes. Wow. Love that. This is <laughs> Did you know that? Time. I didn't wow. know that. That's awesome. I want to oh double check that right I I'm haven't seen sure. this in so long. I yeah. just remember they drive off a cliff at the end, and I'm like, wow. I feel that sometimes. Do you understand why I thought, wow, I can't. This is amazing. We have to do this. Thank you, Laura. Yes, thank you, Laura. Oh, I'm excited to watch that. I know! We're just living in the 90s, y'all. <laughs> Wow. We did it. Well, Bridge. Yeah. I just want to say. Yeah. (sighs) Oh my God. There's so many things to say. I know. There really is. If we were high schoolers at a school in Ohio and all the teachers were scary and someone was like, Bridget, you're a lesbian. And you're (laughs) like, I'm not actually. I'm faking it. And you're like, and I have a crush on that guy over there. And it's your husband playing the guy in my mind. Are you with me? <laughs> He's still there. I was so confused. Write a I am sexually confused. <laughs> about how we all need to stop bullying each other and focus on the aliens. Wow. And let Bridget date him. But don't date until after the aliens. That's all I ask. <laughs> and that's <laughs> somehow it was for you. <laughs> It was all for you. I did not follow. Okay. Similar to <laughs> Selma Hayek's character arc. Okay. Yep. Um, <laughs> Kate, I just want to let you know if somebody is, you know, we get, the, we, we do the movie, right? We want to do a movie. We do the movie. We get millions of dollars. And you're talking about faculty too, right? Oh, That's the movie yes. we're going to do, okay? Yes. And then someone says, you know, I have the best idea for a leading character name, okay? Oh, and, boy. and they they have a PowerPoint screen up because everything's PowerPoint in my mind. And they go to it and they click it. And I, I see the first letter is a Z. Uh-oh. I pull the plug. I pull uh-huh. the plug. Lights off. We're pulling say, out. K- Katie's out. I'm out. If it's Zeke, <laughs> we're out of here. Because I love my sister. She will not do another Zeke. She's met no one named Zeke. And we just, we walk away from 10 million, but we're famous for it because I we stood by that you didn't like Zeke. The only way I'd keep Zeke in faculty too is if Zeke <laughs> is the principal of the school. Because he never day. left. 
And he still <laughs> continues to sell drugs in the parking lot. And he still has the same haircut. That's the only wow. way it's going to work. All right? right. Fair enough. So, fair enough. you know, you guys oh. work on that. Send us yes. your pitches. But All I right. love you. That's that's my love for you. Wow. So there you go. Well, and listeners, if you also love made up names that no one in real life has, <laughs> like Zeke. Wow. And if you think that people need to just like fucking focus, you know, like wow. make out later, kill aliens now you know like it's it's like the priorities right yeah totally and if you think this movie has so many random famous people and like people don't forget usher and i wish he sang this song usher, and dance. Usher, usher. Oh! <laughs> even if it was in the background if he did the halftime show at the football game i'm all about it dead i'd be dead if you believe all that and like all that you should write us a review hey we love reviews we love written reviews you can review us on apple podcasts along with some other podcasting apps we also have a website sisters who seen it.com on our website you can request a movie so there is a form you can fill out if you have a request our next listener pick Thelma and louise was requested by laura and Woo! laura went on and filled laura, out the form laura 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 laura, laura, laura that was like an epic pick laura went on the list wow and that could be you and guys you. Wow. the spoops are coming it will be spoops. <laughs> so spoop soon. I'm so ready. I keep looking at Halloween decor and then I'm like, can you relax? Wait for your next credit card. So, I love it. Um, yeah. So where was I? Oh, yeah. Give us a oh. quest. <laughs> Spoopy movies, please. The people listening to this can pay so attention. I am so focused, I swear. Um, God, what Delilah of you. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Bridge, what else can they do in our website and buy us coffee which Woo. is money Woo. it will not go to the water budget for it the won't. alien school definitely and not also if you are like forget that let's just get merchandise get merchandise Woo. um i've been a little behind on that but you guys buy a bunch and i'll just get art on it so there you go incentives Check there are a lot of fun uh merchandise things on there so my favorite still is like don't listen to him honey he's a libra he's a libra like, <laughs> i just it's <laughs> so funny so and it's so good good um oh check god. that out we love you and oh my god Thelma Lee, louise are you kidding are you kidding it's gonna be amazing are you kidding me right now yes yeah, so check all that out listeners and we hope to hear from you all right well we'll see y'all next week for Thelma and louise yeah. i just want to like scream like Whoa, like i'm Whoa. falling off a cliff or i'm driving off a cliff we're not gonna drive off Okay. But we'll talk about it. Okay. Okay. I like that. Yeah. I love you. I Listen. love you. If your teacher's weird and there's Jon Stewart, they're an alien. Get out of there. Stab him with a pen. Water's not good for aliens. Get out of there. Get them out. They're coming for our water. If wow. you don't think they are, they are. We said it here first. Love you. Bye. What she said. Bye bye. <laughs> love you. <laughs> Sorry I scared you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to Sisters Who Seen It. You can listen to us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Check out our website at sisterswhoseenit.com, where you can email us, request movies to be reviewed, and keep up to date with all things sisters. Also, make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you next week.